Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how we can quickly share a collection of images on the web so that anyone with any device that has a web browser can view them, make comments, and like them. So the first thing to do would be to create a collection. Now I have these images here and they happen to already be in a collection called Best of Japan, but I haven't synchronized that collection. Now because I'm in Lightroom CC, if I click on the Activity Center, you can see that I have the sync with Lightroom Mobile turned on. So synchronize is on, but I want to control which collections I synchronize with my mobile devices. So I'm going to synchronize the Best of Japan collection by clicking in the empty well to the left of it. Once I do that, each one of the thumbnails in the grid view now has this synchronize icon. And in the upper right of the grid view, you'll notice that I have an option here to make public. So right now, by synchronizing this collection, Lightroom is actually creating what's called a smart preview, and it's uploading that smart preview to the cloud so that I can then access that through the Lightroom app on my mobile devices, such as my iPhone, my iPad, or my Android device. But if I want to share this with anyone that has a web browser, I can make this URL public and share it through email. So I'm going to click Make Public. You'll notice that Lightroom is going to generate a URL, and then I can right mouse click on that and copy it to the clipboard or open it directly to the browser. Well, I'm going to copy it to the clipboard, and then with just one image selected, I'll choose File and then email photo because I want to tempt the person that I'm emailing to with a photograph that's representative of that collection so they'll click on it to view it. So let's type in the email. I'll choose my subject here. And then you'll notice here that I've got an attached image. I'm going to make that very small. And when I click send, Lightroom will launch my email and then I can start typing in a message. So in this case, I want the person to take a look at my new images from Japan. And then I'm going to paste that link. You can see here that Lightroom's automatically attached the small image for me. And when I click send, it will email them that link. Now let's take a look at what my friend would be looking at. I'll go ahead and right mouse click here and choose Open in Browser. So anyone that I send that link to would see this grid of images here. If I click on an image, they're going to see it larger. They can go ahead and move from one image to the next. And if they like an image, they can click on the heart icon down here in the lower left or they can click on the comment icon and then add a comment here in the activity area. When they're finished, they could close this. If they wanted to, they could also sort this in reverse order or play a slideshow. And when I return back to Lightroom, we can see on this first image right here, we have a new little badge. This is the comment badge. It appears not only in the thumbnail for the image, but also over here in the collection. And if I look over here in my comment panel, we can see that Carl left me a comment and he said this is his favorite picture. So there you have it. As you can see, it's really easy to create a collection in Lightroom and then go ahead and share that collection with friends and family. And of course, I happen to start on the desktop, but just as easily I could start with a collection on one of my mobile devices. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.